Being a stay-at-home mom is a full-time job with many rewards. But just like any job, it also comes with its own set of challenges. Here are the top 10 stressors that stay-at-home moms often face. First on our list is the ever-present feeling of having no time for yourself. It's a common struggle that many moms face daily. You're going from wiping noses to making snacks to breaking up squabbles over toys. The demands are endless, and it feels like there's always something that needs your attention. When do you get a minute to just breathe? It seems like those moments are few and far between. You long for those days when you could sip your coffee while it was still hot or scroll through your phone without a tiny human demanding your attention. Those simple pleasures now seem like distant memories. But here's the thing, sweet mamas, taking even a few minutes each day for ourselves is not selfish. It's essential. It's about recharging your batteries so you can be the best version of yourself for your family. Whether it's sneaking in a hot bath after the kids are asleep, letting the warm water wash away the stress of the day, or simply sitting in silence for five minutes with a cup of tea, savoring the quiet and the warmth of the cup in your hands, those small moments of self-care can make a world of difference. They help you reset and find a bit of peace amidst the chaos. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup, so take care of yourself, mama. You deserve it. Prioritizing your well-being is not just beneficial for you, but for everyone around you. Being at home with little ones all day can sometimes feel like living in a world filled with sippy cups and lullabies. The constant demands, the never-ending cycle of feeding, changing, and soothing can make the days blur together. You miss your friends, your colleagues, those casual chats at the coffee shop, the laughter, the shared stories, the simple joy of adult conversation. It's easy to feel isolated when you're in the thick of motherhood, especially in those early years. The days can feel long and the nights even longer. Social media can be a double-edged sword. It offers a window to the outside world, but it can also highlight what you feel you're missing. It can be a lifeline, but it can also make you feel even more alone. Seeing others' highlight reels can sometimes deepen the sense of isolation. But here's the truth, darling. No one's life is as perfect as it appears on social media. Behind every perfect picture, there's a story of struggle and perseverance. Everyone goes through tough times and feels lonely sometimes. So reach out, call a friend, even if it's just for a quick chat, schedule a virtual coffee date where you can laugh and share your experiences without leaving your home. Join a local moms group where you can meet others who are in the same boat or strike up a conversation with another parent at the park. You might be surprised at how much you have in common. Those connections, those moments of shared experience can make all the difference in the world. They remind you that you're not alone in this journey. Remember, you are not alone. There are others who understand and are ready to support you. There is a whole tribe of mamas out there who understand exactly what you're going through. Together, you can find strength and comfort in each other's company. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room money. Finances can be a huge stressor, especially when you're a stay-at-home mom relying on one income. You're trying to make ends meet, stretch every dollar, and still make sure your little ones have everything they need. But listen up, mama, you are not defined by your bank balance. Your worth is not measured by the number of zeros in your account. Talk to your partner, be honest about your concerns, and work together as a team to find solutions that fit your family's unique situation. Remember, you're resourceful, you're capable, and you've got this. Money worries might try to steal your joy, but don't let them. Losing who they are. You know that feeling when you introduce yourself and the first thing that comes out of your mouth is, hi, I'm child's name's mom. It's almost as if your own name, your own identity, has taken a back seat to your role as a parent. You were a woman with dreams, with ambitions, with a life that extended beyond the four walls of your home. You had passions that fueled your spirit and goals that kept you moving forward. And then, somewhere between the first tooth and the first steps, that identity started to feel a little fuzzy. The daily grind of parenting, the endless cycle of feeding, changing, and soothing began to blur the lines of who you once were. But here's the thing, mama, that woman, that person you were before you became a mother, she's still in there. She's waiting for you to remember her, 
to acknowledge her presence. She might be a little buried under piles of laundry and to-do lists, but she's there. Beneath the layers of responsibilities and the weight of expectations, she exists, yearning to be rediscovered. And you know what? The world needs her. Your children need her. They need to see the vibrant, passionate person you are, not just the caretaker. So dust off those old hobbies. Start that project you've been putting off or explore something new that sparks your interest. Reignite the flames of your passion and let them burn brightly once more. Remember, being a mom is a huge part of who you are, but it's not the only part. You are a complex, multifaceted individual with a wealth of experiences and talents. You are a multifaceted, amazing woman with so much to offer the world. Don't be afraid to let your light shine. Embrace every part of yourself and let your true identity flourish alongside your role as a mother. Always busy. From the moment your feet hit the floor in the morning until your head finally hits the pillow at night, life as a stay-at-home mom can feel like one giant never-ending to-do list. It's a whirlwind of meal prep, diaper changes, laundry folding, toy cleanup, and trying to keep your house from resembling a disaster zone. But here's the thing, mama, it's okay to not be okay sometimes. It's okay to admit that you're feeling overwhelmed, to ask for help, and to give yourself permission to take a break. You are not a superhero, even though it might feel like you're expected to be one. You're human, and humans need rest. Not feeling appreciated. You pour your heart and soul into caring for your family. You are the glue that holds everything together, the invisible force that keeps the household running smoothly. But sometimes, it feels like your efforts go unnoticed, unappreciated. It's like you're a ghost, silently moving through the house, taking care of everything and everyone, but rarely receiving the recognition you deserve. But listen closely, mama. Your worth is not determined by the words or actions of others. You are valuable. You are appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it. You are doing an incredible job. When you spend the majority of your time with tiny humans, it's easy to feel like your partner is the only adult you can truly talk to. But what happens when that communication starts to feel strained? It's easy to fall into patterns of resentment, to keep score of who's doing more, who's more tired, who's more deserving of a break. But here's the thing, mama, Resentment is a relationship killer. So talk to each other. Communicate your needs, your frustrations, your fears. Remember, you're on the same team, working towards the same goal, a happy and healthy family. Trying to be perfect. In a world of perfectly filtered Instagram feeds, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparison. But here's the secret, mama. Perfection is a myth. It's time to release yourself from the shackles of perfectionism and embrace the messy, beautiful, imperfect reality of motherhood. Because in the imperfections, in the mistakes, in the moments when everything doesn't go according to plan, that's where the real magic happens. Health problems. You're so busy taking care of everyone else that you often forget to take care of the most important person, you. Sleep, what sleep, and exercise? Well, chasing after a toddler definitely counts as a workout, right? But here's the thing, mama, neglecting your own health will only lead to burnout. So make yourself a priority. Schedule in some time for self-care, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. Get some rest, nourish your body with healthy foods, and find ways to move your body that bring you joy. You deserve to feel good. Worrying about kids. From the moment those tiny humans enter the world, worry becomes an intrinsic part of motherhood. You worry about their health, their development, their well-being. But here's the thing, mama, worry, while understandable, can be paralyzing. It can consume your thoughts, steal your joy, and prevent you from fully embracing the beautiful chaos of parenthood. So take a deep breath, mama. Trust your instincts. Seek support when you need it. Remember that you are doing an amazing job. You've got this, mama. Understanding these challenges can help moms find ways to deal with them. Here are a few tips. Ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask family and friends for support. Connect with others. Try to make time to connect with other moms or join a support group. 
take care of yourself. Make sure to find time for self-care even if it's just a few minutes a day. Being a stay-at-home mom is a tough job, but with support and self-care, it can also be a rewarding one. You've got this. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and click that notification button so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching Russell's Loving Life.